Hi, my name is Kevin and I'm an exercise therapist here to talk to you about an effective program using stationary biking on osteoarthritis. So how does stationary bicycling help osteoarthritis? It helps one, pain relief, improve mobility, physical function, improves your walking speed as well as your overall aerobic capacity. But before beginning any kind of exercise program, be sure to consult with your physician to make sure that you're both fit and healthy enough to do the program avoid painful movements, and take breaks when, when needed. Stationary bicycling is a good way to exercise with relatively low amounts of stress on joints. Bicycling is a safe and healthy way to lose weight, among many other quality of life improvements. Let's take John for example. John is 68 years old and has been diagnosed with osteoarthritis in the knees two years ago. He enjoys being active, but is finding it difficult with arthritis. John wishes to begin an exercise program that will help reduce pain and restore some muscle strength. So, John is a good candidate for the stationary bicycling program. He decided to visit people getting a grip on arthritis online to learn more about how it can help his pain. It's based off of studies with patients 52 to 82 years of age and has had osteoarthritis for more than six months. The program is done three times a week with each session lasting 60 minutes over 10 weeks. For this program, you can choose to either work at high intensity or low intensity. If you choose to work at high intensity, you want to look for around 70% that of your heart rate max. For low intensity, 40% of your heart rate max. At the beginning of the program, you'll be bicycling for 15 minutes, but towards the end, 30 minutes. To find your pulse, there's two places on your body to landmark. You can either find your carotid or neck pulse by, taking, by placing your index and middle finger over your Adam's apple and sliding it three centimeters to the left or right. The second one is the radial or wrist pulse using your index and middle finger on the underside of the wrist in line with the thumb. So during 15 seconds, count the number of times you feel your pulse and then multiply that number by four. This will give you your beats per minute. To find your maximum heart rate, you take 220, subtract your age. So as John is an example, he's 68 years old. Therefore, John's maximum heart rate is 220 minus 68, which is 152. During one part of the program, John should obtain a heart rate of 70% that of his maximum. So 70% of 152, his maximum heart rate, is 106 beats per minute. Therefore, when performing physical activity, John should reach a heart rate of about 106. At the beginning of each session, there should be a 10 minute warm up of fast paced walking and upper extremity and trunk flexibility exercises. Followed by a 15 to 30 minute bicycling aerobic activity, be sure, being sure to obtain your desired heart rate, check after five minutes of bicycling, as well as a cool down of 10 minutes with slow walking, flex, flexibility stretching, and breathing exercises. The seat height should also be determined in indiv individually to ensure no more than approximately 10 degrees of knee flexion at the lowest point of the rotation of the pedal, or a straight knee. There should also be minimal to no resistance on the wheel. Heart rate monitors are also a great way to ensure that your target heart rate is met throughout the exercise routine. Thank you.